Lots of children have been asking me about Peggy, so I thought I'd do a little question and answer for you. Ask Peggy's here, nice and sat, nice and calm, aren't you? She's a very good girl. So Peggy is nine years old. We're not too sure about this because we can't remember when we had her, but we think she's nine years old. Okay, Peggy is a miniature schnauzer, miniature schnauzer. So um, the breed actually comes from Germany and she's a miniature one. So there are actually um, three different sizes of schnauzer. There's the miniature ones, which is Peggy, which means she's um, almost like cuddlyable, but you know, she you can you can pick her up if you needed to. She likes your cuddles as pegs. Um, there's a standard schnauzer. So that's um, a size of like a cocker spaniel, a bigger cocker spaniel and a Labrador. And then there's also giant schnauzers and they can be quite big, but we wanted a mini one because we didn't want a, a too big dog. Um, Peggy doesn't molt, which means that when you stroke her, um, you don't get any fur or any fluff in your hands. We, we like the house nice and clean, so that's why we had Peggy. And Peggy's got a lovely temperament. She's nice and chilled. Um, I've taken her here into school before, and she's lovely with the children. She's very chilled. Look, she's even just fallen asleep right now. Look, she's nice and chilled, nice and relaxed. Um, and I thought it would be quite cool um, for you to get to know Peggy better. And um, one of my favourite things to do, actually, is to actually, obviously, play and walk Peggy. But I quite like to draw Peggy, so I thought I could show you how we draw pegs. Isn't it? Because you like being drawn. Um, a little fact about schnauzers is, so you can see that Peggy, her ear is in my eye, there we go. Um, Peggy has got, let's show everybody, she's got um, a big, big beard here. That's her beard. And she's got like little eyebrows here. You can kind of see them. Now, um, snouses were actually bred to kill rats. So when they would go hunting um, for the rats and they would go sniff them out, the reason why they were such a good job um, at g getting the rats is because the beard and their um, her moustache, uh, her beard and her eyebrows offered protection. So if the right rats ever um, fought back and tried to bite her um, eyes or nose, then her fur would protect her from getting hurt. So that's what snouses were bred for, which is quite a cool fact. But I'm going to now show you how we draw little pegs. You can give her a little wave. Another one, little wave. <laughs> So I always start with Peggy, I always start with her nose. So I give her a nice little uh, triangle nose. The reason why I'm doing this in a Sharpie and not a pencil is just so it can um, stand a bit out for you to see more. So I always start with her nose and then Peggy obviously has her moustache. Um, so I kind of just go out a bit like that because it's not very well trimmed, not very well groomed. And then it goes down a bit then for her beard. That's her beard. And she's got two eyes, so I'll give her nice big eyes like this. That's one eye. That's another eye. And then I draw her eyebrows because she has nice big white eyebrows. This time of year, she has exceptionally big eyebrows and moustache because it's winter, so we like to keep her a bit longer so she can stay nice and warm. And then um, I kind of give her the edge of her face lines to go down. And then I close off her forehead at the top. And then she's got big, big, almost like big tri um, triangle ears. So I just kind of draw her like triangle size ears going down like that. And there you go, there's pegs. And then you could add little details then. So little bits like that to show her um, snout almost, her top of her nose. And then you can have her face. You can either draw her smiling or um, the cross face like a dog usually has. So it would be like a little, a little line here and a little line there. But I like to draw Peggy smiling because she's such a happy dog. And that's pegs. And then what you can do is have some paws. So go down around some paws like that. So her, that's her front paws and you could add some little details like that. And then you could add her back legs. So we go down and around and around. That does look a bit like a frog now, but okay. And her back paws, there you go. And then what you can do is just add little bits like that just to show that the fur is going in certain ways. There you go. Some more details for the front. I'm actually doing this one-handed because my hands are holding the camera screen, which is quite hard. Um, but yeah, there you go. And then, oh, she's always got a nice big waggy tail. There you go. And that's how you draw pegs.